This tutorial covers the Dialog Systems Adventure Creator integration. We'll start with a project in which I've already imported Adventure Creator and the Dialog System. If you're creating a 2D project, select Tools, Pixel Crushers, Common, MISC, Enable Physics 2D Support. If you're using Unity 2017 or older, you don't need to do this. Next, import Adventure Creator support from the third party support folder. This imports files into Pixel Crushers, Dialog System, Third Party Support, Adventure Creator Support. It will also import some files into Adventure Creator's Scripts Actions folder. The next step is to tie the Dialog System into Adventure Creator's Save and Load System. To do this, inspect the Persistent Engine prefab. Add a Remember Dialog System component. Set it to Manual and tick Retain in Prefab. And next we'll set up a scene. To set up a scene for the Dialog System, add the Dialog Manager prefab. Create or assign a dialog database. And add the script Adventure Creator Bridge to the Dialog Manager. This script has several options that are detailed in the Adventure Creator Support page of the online manual. Use Dialog State specifies what game state to put Adventure Creator in during conversations. It defaults to If Player Involved, which changes the state to Dialog Options only if the player is involved in the conversation. Take Camera Control does the same thing with the camera. Max Time to Wait for Camera Stop is a fail-safe duration to take control of the camera in case Adventure Creator never stops it. Sync settings are important for data communication between Adventure Creator and the dialog system. With the checkboxes ticked, when a conversation starts, the Adventure Creator variables and item counts are copied to the dialog system's runtime environment. Then during the conversation, the dialog system can change these values in the dialog system's environment. When the conversation ends, those values are copied back to Adventure Creator. We'll go over this in more detail in a bit. Prepend global variables prepends the word global and an underscore in front of adventure creator variables in the dialog systems variables table. You can use this if you need to distinguish between global and local variables that have the same name. Save to global variable on conversation end and on level change can be used to save the dialog systems environment to an adventure creator global variable. Frequently, you'll use save to global variable on level change in conjunction with a dialog system saver component for changing scenes. Use Adventure Creator language sets the dialog system's language to match Adventure Creator's language choice. Similarly, use Adventure Creator subtitles setting makes the dialog system respect the player's choice in Adventure Creator's subtitles toggle. Rather than build the rest from scratch, we'll take a look at the example scene that ships with the integration. The Intro 1 cutscene has been changed so that at the end it will call a new cutscene named Dialog System Intro Conv. Dialog System Intro Conv uses the third party Dialog System Conversation action to start a Dialog System conversation. This action can start or stop a conversation. You can specify which conversation, an entry to start at, the participants, and whether to override the Adventure Creator Bridge script. And here we can see that in action.
and this is our dialogue system conversation. In the upper left, you can see that it switched to the dialogue options game state. This message is reported by a utility script that was put on the example scenes dialogue manager. That script is named show game state. And next we can see how to set up idle barks. You don't need to involve adventure creator for this. Choose your NPC, add a bark UI. This one has a legacy bark UI, but you could add one of the bark UI prefabs. And set up a bark on idle component. And this is what that looks like. We'll skip all this and jump to the barking NPC, which is a trash can. And here we can see some barks. Last, we'll take a look at a quest. In our dialogue database, we've set up a find a sword quest. It looks like this. To set this up, we use two more third-party dialogue system actions. The first is the Lua action, which we can use to interface with the dialogue system's data. In this case, we're calling the setQuestState function. And we also show an alert message. SetQuestState sets this quest. Next, we'll set up a conversation to check Adventure Creator variables and items. In this case, we'll add a conditional entry that checks if the player has picked up the sword. To do this, we could manually type in a check in the conditions field, referencing an item by name and checking the count of how many the player has. In this case, since it's tied to a quest, we could have also checked the quest state. But rather than typing it in manually, it's often much easier to predefine the variable in the dialog database. Then we can simply use the drop-down wizard to specify our condition. And we'll specify that the prop sword count is one or more. Likewise, if you set an item count or a variable in the script field, then at the end of the conversation, those values will be copied back into Adventure Creator. You can also run Adventure Creator action lists in dialog entry sequences. In this example, we're running an action list named some action list, which should be the name of an action list in the scene or an action list asset in a resources folder or asset bundle. This sequencer command can take multiple parameters. If you specify no wait in the second parameter, it will kick off the action list and not wait for it to finish. You can also specify a step number in the action list to start at. And if you want to wait, just get rid of the no wait and leave that parameter blank. The integration also adds an AC cam sequencer command that you can use to control the Adventure Creator camera. Refer to the manual for the various options for this. In this example, we transition to my camera shot over one second. And the integration adds an AC speech command that can use Adventure Creator's lip sync and subtitle system.
In the example scenes database, you can see that we've used the AC sequencer command to run the shake trash can action list. Finally, we'll take another look at sharing variable values between Adventure Creator and the dialog system. In this scene in Adventure Creator, we have three local variables. If we play the scene, start a conversation so that those variables get copied over to the dialog system, and then look at the dialog system's environment, we can see the values of those variables. So here we are in the conversation. We open up the dialog editor, and we'll add watches on all the variables. The last three have been copied over from Adventure Creator. And that covers the fundamentals of the dialog system's integration with Adventure Creator.